do you think of the announcement we've got from the current CEO and what could be in store for them? You know, I think, I think it's something that we've all been expecting for about a year now. Why? The question is, well, you know, you take a look at Paul. So when he does retire in, uh, in six months or so, he would have done eight years at Intel. Um, and that's about the average of what they've done in the past. I think it's worth taking a step back and thinking what Paul is asked to do when he's appointed CEO. Eight years ago, seven years ago, he's asked, hey, why don't you come in and we want you to dominate the PC market. Now that, now that we take a look back, I think he's done a terrific job there. Back in the day, AMD was a pretty healthy competitor, and uh, as of today, they're a sub-$2 stock. So I'd, I'd say Paul has been extremely successful in owning that PC market. You go out to the store, you buy a laptop, you buy a desktop, it's an Intel machine. Now, as we, as we go into the next uh, phase here, as you talked about, consumers are buying smartphones and tablets and iPads and such for all their compute. So is any of this his fault? People simply don't have on their Christmas list a PC, a laptop. It's all about an iPhone, a tablet. Yeah, well, the, the tech world moves fast, right? I mean, I think, I think tech is moving. Everybody wants to go mobile. We want long battery lives. We want sexy form factors. This is something that Intel has got to, they have to evolve. Otherwise, they, they are going to be, uh, become outdated. John, Patrick's talking sexy, so obviously we have to bring you in here. What's your take? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> you know, one of the, the what some people argue You're is called, a misstep. You, you got tongue-tied on that. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Steph. Uh, but what I was going to say was that there are a number of large uh, chip companies that have worked very closely with a UK-based company called Arm Holdings, um, using their designs to create the kinds of chips that have really worked well with you know everything that goes into your phone these days. And, and that has really benefited companies like Qualcomm, which a lot of people have been highlighting the fact that Qualcomm now has a larger market valuation than Intel. Texas Instruments has played that game. Samsung has played that game. Intel was always reluctant to play that game. They like doing everything in-house. They've got an incredibly impressive way about going about doing things. But a lot of people are now wondering whether or not they should have been in business with ARM in some way. Um, and just to give you an idea of how challenging it can be, even if you have mobile on your mind, I mean, we spoke with Mike Bell, who's the head mobile guy at Intel, basically running a startup within this large company. They even built their own phone um, to try to sort of see what the whole chip experience would be from Intel's perspective in mobile. And yet with all those efforts, we still sit here talking about the fact that mobile chips is a sliver of their overall business and they're still so dependent on the PC. Patrick, before we go, any thoughts on who could replace, who could be the new CEO? I think there are really two ways that, uh, that I look at it. You know, Intel's always gone internal. So all the, all the previous CEOs have been internal promotions. And I think that, uh, you know, the leading candidate there would probably be Brian Kurzanich. He was the chief operating officer, as was Paul Olini, right? So I think that that's one of the key things that, that we'd look at. The other, the other alternative here is, of course, that they go outside, right? As John, has met, as John mentioned earlier, uh, everyone's going mobile. You take a look at Qualcomm, you take a look at what Samsung and Apple are doing out there, generating a ton of profits. Intel could use some expertise from, uh, from that space. So, you know, if they were to get someone who has mobile experience, who's, who's a veteran chip guy in that space, I think you, you put that guy with the existing management team, I think it, uh, you'd have pretty good results.